Hello everyone and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon in the last session. We were not having the best of times. We were feeling pretty down about our inability to ever reach floor 4 with any consistency. So maybe today is the day that changes. Surely this run, we will, oh god. Surely this run, we will simply immediately get to floor 4 with no issues at all. That is a thing that will happen, right? And we will be able to feel some sense of progression. Surely that will happen. Surely we won't take stupid hits on the very first floor. Surely we will perfect the first floor. Ooh, thank you. Surely we will perfect the first floor. Because if you can't fucking avoid damage on floor one, then like, what the fuck are we doing here? Fucking tables. Almost just got hit because of that table. I really don't like the tables in this game. <laughs> I, like, they, they blend so hard into the background that I'm like, I'm just viewing it as like a bush or a wall or something. I don't know. I don't like, I, I see it as just scenery, but it's not. It's an actual physical block to you, but it's a physical block to you that doesn't stop bullets unless you actually flip it yourself. So it's like, in my head, I forget that I have to avoid them or I'm going to get stuck on them and then hit because they don't actually serve as any protection on their own. What? Oh my god. From off screen. Just a random thing I couldn't account for from off screen. Love that. If I don't perfect the floor, it just feels pointless to continue. It really does just feel pointless to continue if I don't perfect floor one. It's such a basic floor, like it's a billion trillion times easier than anything in the higher floors. So, I just feel like I, I'm i just, well, I've already lost the run if I don't. What the fuck are you guys doing? Why am I fighting two of these motherfuckers in a, in a floor one? Yeah, like with how hard the game gets, it feels like if you take damage on the first floor, you just gotta reset because... Like, you need all the health you can get for the harder floors where you are actually expected to take damage. You know? What do we got? The Helix. Splice and dice. Fires two wave projectiles. Inspired by real science, the helix is extremely useful for hitting two things at once, as long as they are a certain distance apart. Okay, well that sounds like it won't be extremely useful then. That sounds like it may in fact be shot. Wow, okay. Yeah, no, that seems... That seems pretty awful. We will give it a singular try in the next room, but that seems like a terrible, terrible gun. Yeah, no, that is horrendously bad. Absolutely horrendous weapon. I guess useful for looking for secrets. Why does it look like they're going through the wall and not impacting it? Am I crazy?
I feel like that looked like it was going through the wall and not impacting it. Spawn enemies right next to the door. That's some bullshit. Not bad, not bad. What's in the shop today? Uh, the Luxin Cannon. I feel like we've had this before. I feel like it was kind of good. But nothing we want in there right now. I guess I should open up the shortcuts. Even though I'll just teleport back in here anyway, so... Do I really need to open the shortcut? Probably not, but... Found the bowls. A free key. Very nice, very nice. Oh my god. Please, God, give me something good. What is that? Spice. A tantalizing cube of power. What it do? Increases combat prowess with absolutely no downside. A potent gun-enhancing drug from the far reaches of the galaxy. Oh, it's a Dune reference. It is known to be extremely addictive and extremely expensive. I mean, sure. Why not, I guess? Why are there never any secret floors, man? Surely. Surely I should have found some secret floors by now. I think we found one or something. And we've never been able to find any others since. Like, they could be at any point on the map where there is space. So, like, there could be one here. But there just never is. Like, there could easily be space through here for one on the right in between this and the next room. There's just... There's nothing, ever. Surely. Surely I should have found some more secret rooms by now. There's just nothing to find. Feels bad. Feels bad. Uh, so the only thing we haven't explored yet is there. Any blue barrel, any blue barrel, any blue barrel, nope. 
I've checked every fireplace room since I was told I should look for a blue barrel, and none of them have spawned. Is that everything? Yep. Uh, was there anything I wanted from here? I don't think I have enough for the gun, do I? Why do they make shit so expensive on the first floor, dude? Like, that's just never gonna happen. Never gonna, like, I haven't spent anything, and the gun is still out of reach. I guess maybe after you kill the boss you have enough to buy it, but like, it means I have no weapon for the boss, so it feels bad. Trigger twins. God oh, damn it, dude. There goes the fucking flawless. Oh, fuck off, man. Really? Okay, we're not taking that much damage. We are not taking that much damage on the first floor. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Because I couldn't get a single gun on the entire first floor. They didn't give me anything of use. They gave me that one gun, which was absolutely god-awful and unusable. Nothing actually usable, so I can't fight the boss. But it's just a restart. I feel like they should be forced to give you something, you know? Something. Anything at all. Something usable. Not asking for much, just a singular usable weapon on the first floor. I feel like that's not a big ask. I feel like that's a valid request. Any any blue barrel? Any blue barrel? Nope. Never lucky in this game. Oh my fucking Christ, it's a fucking mimic on floor one? Really? Really, you can get a Mimic on floor one? Well, that's just great, isn't it? What is this? The gas mask. Breathe deep. Prevents poison damage. Well, I think that's the... That's only useful against the Gorgon, right? And even then, very easy to avoid the poison damage? I don't think I've ever seen any other poison damage aside from that.
What do we got? The Gamma Ray. Infinite a Oh wait, that's not the thing I'm looking at. <laughs> this archaic laser has been studied for centuries. Gungeonologists can only conclude it was used by primitive people to poison each other with radiation. Right. Well, let's see how good it is. Doesn't feel particularly good. No teleport down there, huh? Now that is very nice. Ammo chance on kills. Well, that sounds pretty good. Repurpose is spent ammo from fallen gun dead. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Uh, any secret? Any secret? Oh. Actually, yes. Actually, yes. It's literally just a fuck. Are these secrets completely pointless? Are these secrets completely pointless? Because I'm pretty sure once we got a secret and it was like a half heart, and once we got a secret now and it's an ammo refill, which like, fine, I guess, but it's not exactly exciting. I thought the secrets were gonna be like guns and shit. But it's just boring stuff. Maybe that's on me for having high expectations of secrets, but it's like, if you're hiding something that hard, when 99% of people are going to walk right past it, because they didn't happen to check that specific room or whatever. I feel like the least you can do, the least you can do is have it be an interesting reward. Bionic legs, that's just move faster, right? Carbine, can't afford it. I guess we'll take a key. And I guess we'll take armor. Oh wait, no. <laughs> I can't afford that either. Nice. What do we got? It's the Trigger Twins. I really don't love having to do boss fights while holding the shoot button. Fuck off, dude. God damn it, man. Right at the end of the hard part. Right at the end of the hard part, I take one fucking hit of damage, which means I don't get the extra heart. It's so brutal. Well, never mind. Guess I'll just fucking take a hit on the easy part as well. Why not, eh? Hey? Why not? Let me just throw the run away right into the bin, basically. That's what it feels like. It feels like when you take a hit on the first boss, you have literally just thrown the run away. Wait, what the fuck? Why is the laser red now? Is it this? All bullets have a chance to ignite foes, right? I guess I use this and refill. Jesus 
Christ, how much health does you have, mate? What the fuck do- Oh, good, I'm empty. Wonderful. Oh, back to the starter gun on floor two then, because the game gave me fuck all. Oh, okay, well, that's something at least. Is that the partial refill? That is the partial refill. Like, how are you going to give me such a tiny amount of weapons in a game specifically focused around its weapons? You've got to do better than that game. You just have to. You know? You can't be giving me no weapons in a game titled after the weapons. What the fuck? Where did that come from? Love to be hit out of nowhere. Very cool. What is this now? How did I get hit? How the fuck did that hit me? What are you talking about? Ah. This is not my day. It's never my day in this game, apparently. It's just a fucking ongoing series of bad days where I can't ever get anything done, any progress made, any fucking... Oh good, now it's time for the worst enemy in the game, wonderful. This gun is absolutely sharp. That gamma ray weapon is fucking garbage, man. And no gun for sale here, of course. No. Wouldn't want to let the player have a weapon better than the starting pistol. This deep into the game. No, they must have a fucking shit fucking ray gun that seems to do less damage than the starter pistol and has to be held at all times. And then we'll just make sure that runs out of ammo as well. Oh good, another one of these! Can this day get any better? At least we've got some form of progress in some tiny way by unlocking whatever the cell is on this place. Is that a shotgun? Old Goldie. Assuming it's a shotgun, that means it's useless. Yup, a masterwork shotgun. The right answer isn't always a gun that shoots bees, a water gun, or a flaming hat. Sometimes all you need is a simple concept executed immaculately. This gold trimmed double barreled shotgun represents the best of traditional gun craft. Well, we will try it, I guess, but every shotgun I have tried so far in this game has been absolute garbage because the entire point of the game is you cannot get up close to enemies because they are constantly firing insane bullet hell at you. And if you go up close, you will simply die to the insane bullet hell. This, however, the spread doesn't seem too bad. The spread doesn't seem too bad. Maybe there's hope for this one. The spread actually seems really good. Okay, okay. We have found a usable shotgun. Thank you, God. Thank you, fucking Christ. They exist. Shotguns that aren't complete garbage exist. Okay, well, there's the boss. Shotgun bro got fucking shotgunned himself. We love to see it. 
Hopefully some of these guys get killed by the rolling. In fact, all of them. Lovely. <laughs> that is what we like to see. actually pretty powerful this one yoink is that a free heart that is a free heart we love a free heart we are big fans of a free heart hey hello oh my god the mega dowser do i do it do i do it i think i have to do it i think i have to do it we have got a water gun. Now we just need to find the fireplace. We've also got you. Who are you? Finally I can get out of this dump. Thank you. I thought I'd be trapped in the bowels of this place forever. Hopefully I will see you soon. Okay. See you, whoever you are. Come on. The fireplace. Oh, wait. I'm on the second floor. I've already passed the fireplace. No. Oh, I'm so stupid. God damn it, man. For some reason, I thought I was still on the first floor, and then I would be able to use that for the fireplace. Oh, god damn it. Well, there was a massive waste of bullets then. Buying a completely useless weapon for a purpose I cannot achieve. God damn it. That is possibly the dumbest thing I've ever done. Uh, well, we got plenty of bullets. Let's see how this goes. It's the bolster. Okay, I'm fairly alright with this boss, I feel. He says as he walks into a fucking pit. Great. Never mind, never mind. I'm not good at this boss. I thought I was good at this boss. I lied. Don't mind me, just getting trapped in a corner. run. Abysmal run. What is this? The melted rock. Corpses explode? Now that is pretty good. This rock is a testament to one poor soul whose agony was so great that it still echoes. Oh wait, it's an active item. It's an active item, not a passive item. I thought it was just corpses explode in general and I was like, oh that could be pretty good. But if it is, well, whatever, let's just, let's try it, I guess. But that's not particularly good in that case. I guess we take the key. Any secrets? Any secrets? No. Black powder mine, here we go. Walk across the tracks, right? Yeah. What the fuck is that? Have we ever seen those before?
Okay, I could refill this, or I could refill the Gamma Ray. Do I want to refill the Gamma Ray? I feel like the Gamma Ray is pretty shit, but I guess it's kind of pointless using a full refill on something I've barely used yet, because I just refilled it, so sure, I suppose. What the fuck is all that? Holy what? What? Okay, you gotta die. You gotta die. Holy fuck, that was crazy. Is there something else? Oh yeah, there's something else. From where? Down here, I guess. Okay, fuck me. Yeah, I deserve a heart for that. Jesus. That was uh, an intense room. Okay, I guess the shotgun doesn't actually... Really? I guess the shotgun doesn't actually reach that far. The bullets weren't arriving. Fuck are you? Ugly motherfucker. Okay. Sure, there's just a guy hiding up there, is there? Wonderful. That's just great. Guess I'll just take that damage, shall I? Random fucking dude hiding in the corner. What a great game. Love to take fucking pointless damage. Yeah, we'll mulch. Wait, no, not this gun. No, 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 no. Walk away slowly, walk away slowly. Mega Delsa and the Gamma Ray. I keep thinking it's Mulcher. It's not. It's just Muncher because it eats it. Duh. What have we got? The Skull Spitter. How is the Skull Spitter? Even in death bullets fly. This gun was crafted by Nguyen the Cursed from the skeleton of a gun dead that has become a spectre. Body still remains somewhere deep in the hollow, and it is from his bones that all curse arises. Let's see how it do. Not in this room. <laughs> Not in that room. <laughs> Fuck me. Can I can I find a place I can try this out? Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. It's a bit like the, the bullets travel slowly. Are they homing? I can't tell if they're homing or not. Maybe a little bit. It feels like they're homing a little or something. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, thank you, buddy. Oh, thank you. Yes, please. Can't afford the other half, but that's a huge boon. Tommy gun's alright, but it's not like we can afford it now anyway. Um. Okay, down here then. We still have a bunch of places to go. Fucking explosion. Son of a bitch. 
Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Sure. What was that? Just a big amount of cash? Oh. Proximity mine. Okay. I'd forgotten about the corpse explosion thing even existing, not gonna lie. What does the proximity mine do? Just activates when an enemy gets close? Right. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. Mm, I wonder how much damage it does. I don't know. I'd rather have this, I think. I don't think either of them are particularly useful. Kind of depends how much damage the mine does, I guess, but I almost just walked into that. Despite the really slow fire rate, I am quite liking this gun. It just feels kind of good to use. I don't know. Not sure exactly why I like it. It feels weird, but at the same time, just... Oh my god, I thought those were enemies. <laughs> Are you a mimic? No? Good. What have we got? The blooper. Close your bloop. Extremely high knockback. A poor facsimile of a gun of the gun that can kill the past. What? Seeking an alternate route to past modification, time travelers would use these guns to eliminate their past selves and take their place. Unfortunately, without the power of the true gun, this always resulted in ironic consequences. So it's another shotgun. Another shotgun, but this time with big old knockback, which is not useful for bosses because there's no... Uh, Oh, actually, there are, yeah, there, there are holes in boss arenas, but it's not common. Um, do I buy this other half a heart? Probably not, because I'd like to hope I can do this fairly cleanly and then not get killed. Well, I'd like to, you know what, it's floor three. I'm probably just going to die to the boss. What am I talking about? I'm probably just going to die to the boss. Okay, it's the tank. There goes the flawless. Never lucky in this game. What? How is that fair? fired out like a homing missile like five millimeters away from me so I had literally no chance of avoiding it. Very cool. Love that for me. Old Goldie refilled. What? Oh no. Rad gun. Active reload provides stacking benefits for bad enough dudes. Oh, it's like the Gears of War reload. I guess I take the key. Alrighty. Whack. Whack. Here we go, once more onto floor four. <laughs>